It's all oh. ball TV. You already know the motto. They scared, but I'm not. This right here about to be crazy because I ain't going to lie. Y'all about to curse us out. Come on, Let's man. Talk about it. Why? We talked about it. Isaiah Thomas again was on Draymond Green's podcast. Your, your boy, Draymond Green. That's really my boy. I think he's the GOAT. But he's on there. He's telling him to his face, a bunch of stuff to his face, and I love it. But the primary thing we're going to talk about is your boy Steph ain't on my level. <laughs> That's what he basically said. The all-time great point guard conversation. How do you look at the all-time great point guard conversation? When you define the position of point guard, this is an era where they say we are positionless. But then you want to say, okay, well, he's a point guard. He's not a point guard. And the Golden State Warriors, you are the point guard. You, you, you have more assists than Steph. You bring the ball up. You, you initiate the offense. You set the defense. You, you, you run the show. Steph comes off screens. He catches and he shoots. And he's one of the greatest shoot shooters ever. I won a different way. As a point guard, I led my, my team, and I may be the only one who's done this as a point guard, where I've led my team in scoring and assists to back-to-back -back championships. When I look at Steph, when he talks about the people that he's emulated, he talks about Reggie Miller, he talks about Ray Allen, but when you talk about the point guard position, the way I was taught in the way I think of it. For the Golden State Warriors, you're the point guard, and that's okay. Isaiah Thomas basically told Draymond Green, I'm a better point guard than Steph Curry. Yes, I heard it correct. Isaiah Thomas is a better point guard. He might be a better player than Steph Curry. We, I, don't you agree? I, and you know the thing is, I, I think here's the thing. Oh boy. They that's why I love we done with the 90s. See, people thought we would go against that wave. We jump with the wave. We respect entertainment. We respect points of views all day. So when that happened, I knew the other side had to come and argue. That's what we've been doing our whole life is old school versus new school. This is nothing new. So Isaiah Thomas coming out the woodworks and just Letting off like this to his face. Check this out, Draymond. Your guy, Steph Curry, ain't no point guard number one. That's number one. He's not a point guard. He moved from the point guard. They had to move him. I never did that. Number two, I would have went to the three championships in a row. He's he broke down being back to back leading his team in points and assists. Points and assists. Hey, Draymond, you led your team in assists. Like, the whole breakdown was crazy, bro. I I, we, I we, know that people think we're just old old guys in the <laughs> old guys trying to hang out in the club. Nah, dog. We're trying to tell you what it was. You can be disrespectful if you want to, dismissive if you want to. Nah. This is... I, I love Isaiah Thomas for this. Well, well, listen. First, he told Draymond, Kevin Durant saved your legacy. Then he told him straight up, Steph is not the point guard. You're the point guard. You average more system than Steph. You run the offense. Steph is a shooter. He run around screens. Like he said, he gave him props. The best shooter in the world. But when we talk about point guard, here's my case on why I think Isaiah Thomas is better than Steph Curry. And I've been saying this. I've said this for a while. The Golden State Warriors dynasty is suspect. Y'all lost 73 and 9. I think that was the year Steph was uh, unanimous MVP. Let's not forget, unanimous MVP, 73-9, and nine, up 3-1, and nobody gives no flack about that. Now, Isaiah Thomas, 6-1, number two pick. Let, that was his team, number one option. Back-to-back -back titles against prime Michael Jordan, prime Magic Johnson, prime Larry Bird. I'm going to say that again. Isaiah Thomas, back-to-back -back champion. And like he told him, I led in assists and points. And if I'm not mistaken, he's the only player that's ever done that. And if he's not the only player, you can't name three that did that. He averaged 
points and assists on his team the most back to back championships. He beat Prom Mike, Prom Magic, Prom Reggie Miller. I mean, excuse me, Prom Larry Bird. Now, here's where Isaiah Thomas separates himself from Steph Curry. Playoff performance. Steph Curry's not great in the playoffs. Let, let's so we can't have it both ways. What do we want to matter? Regular season or playoffs? Because it's not even close. I seen Steph Curry look terrible in the playoffs. Mind the numbers. I watched him get locked down by Tristan Thompson, Kevin Love. When players get hurt, he couldn't take over. He lost to Toronto. Like I said, 73 and 9. You get him as MVP up 3 1. Regardless of whatever happened with Draymond, y'all had game seven at home. So for me, if Kevin Durant doesn't go to Golden State, Steph Curry with one or two rings, these conversations is different. Isaiah Thomas is the second greatest point guard of all time. Let me say that again. Magic is number – Steph Curry is top five, but Isaiah Thomas is the second greatest point guard of all time. The difficulty, what he had to go through, broke an ankle, 25 straight in the quarter on a broken ankle. I don't know how many players can do that under 6'2". Listen, man, guys like Isaiah, Tim Duncan need to be mentioned a lot more when it comes to these lists. When it comes to greatest point guard list, I'm tired of hearing about everybody but Isaiah. When it comes to the GOAT list, I'm tired of hearing about everybody behind Mike except Tim Duncan. Listen, I know this is going to hurt some people's feelings. As great as Steph Curry is, He's not a better point guard than Isaiah Thomas. I'm sorry. And when it comes to playoff performance, Curry comes up short a lot. I mean, what are your thoughts on what Isaiah Thomas said and what I'm saying? Am I jumping out the window? No, I, I think the nail in the coffin for me, the nail in the coffin for me that nobody wants to talk about and you kids are not going to understand what well, Wilt Chamberlain told Michael Jordan, and a lot of them, I could put Michael Jordan in perspective, a way more perspective now, because again, I have a beef with him, and if he's if he's better than Akeem Olajuwon in the early night, I got a whole thing about that. But Wilt told Mike, "Yo, they ain't changed the rules for me, bro. They changed the rules to try to stop me. They changed the rules for Mike to help him out, which means the beef that Isaiah and the Pistons had from back then, which is why part of the reason why they're bitter and everything. No disrespect to him." Uh, with Mike is that, bro, we we got, we have the recipe to kill a one-on-one -on -one player. That's not how you play basketball. And they changed the rules to help Mike, meaning they changed the rules to get rid of the Pistons. They didn't put the rules in there to help Isaiah Thomas and the Pistons. Wow. They put the rules in there to hurt him. Players like, teams like him. Steph, they put in rules to help Steph Curry, James Harden, all these shooters, to make it easier for you. They didn't make the game easier for Isaiah. They made it harder for the six-foot guy. So that that stuff really, and it's always irritated me about Isaiah because I get it. I get it. It's like, I, <laughs> it's shout out to Flea. I was saying, yo, at this point, Isaiah sounded like Dame Dash to Jay-Z. He's like Dame Dash to Michael Jordan's Jay-Z because he sounds bitter about it. But at the end of the day, there's certain things that we look at Dame and we go, he's right about that. No matter how bitter, because he's a way worse version, I think, in terms of just the way he comes off. Right. But there's right. certain things Isaiah's right about. And and he's a, he has a lot to that. But the point is, that to me is the nail in the coffin. The kids don't want to understand, yes, there are more skilled players on that court today. Steph Curry would have been, I don't think he would have been Steph Curry back then because the likes of him were helped out by Michael Jordan against the Pistons. They were saying, bro, we got the McDonald's commercial, the Gatorade commercials at nighttime. We got the NBA promoted 24-7 because of Michael Jordan. You ain't getting in his way. You ain't Magic. You ain't Larry Bird. That's what they're basically telling Isaiah, and he still won. He went to three straight, and shout out to Matt. It was Matt God. Yeah, It would have been four straight finals if he didn't turn the ball over. To, that was his fault in the conference finals. Conference finals. Not the first round. Not the second round. In the conference finals. That play cost him to go to the championship. So hold it would have been four hold straight. Hold three straight finals, right? And then the fourth year a conference finals. In the time when Mike 
bird magic were in their prime. It's all ball TV. You already know the motto. They scared, but I'm not.